measured pencil. Welcome inside. We've been on quite the journey this week. We made it. We made it on our odyssey of long Steven, pencils. Steven, watch out. Ah, what was that? It was one star review from Amazon. Oh no, they're buying our podcast and they don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> For the record, I'm Stephen Murray. I am here with Wes Nelson. We've been here all week in a special event of what we're calling the pencils with eraser cartridges. Yeah, we're exhausted. We've been at this for 96 hours straight. (sighs) We need a break. We need to see our families again. We need to eat. We need sustenance and nourishment. But we're here. We're, We're putting in the long hours for you listeners. And you're here with us. You've made it through the marathon. Congratulations. I feel like we've come a long way. You know, it's not the journey. It's the friends you made along the way. Aww. Speaking Which of our f- friends are these pencils. Four pencils on the table in front of us. The Kuinor Mephisto, the Faber Castell TK Fine Vario, the Faber Castell TK Fine Executive, and the Rotrain Rapid. They all have the same eraser cartridge. Same exact cartridge. Like if you pull them all out, and it's the same plastic, the same number of slots on here, the same exact shape, length, everything's exactly the same. They're interchangeable. The only thing different is the color. But they're Three different brands. So what's going on here? Oh, that I knew. But we are going to compare them. And one thing we haven't talked about fully through the week is price point. Ooh, yeah. Let's dive in. These are the going prices today. We paid somewhat different prices for them when we acquired them. But I looked them up on Amazon today. The Kui Norm Mephisto is a $19 pencil. Ouch. I paid $17 for it. The TK Fine Vario, I paid $13. That is listed anywhere between $19 and $24. Wow. Just astonishing. It, it's, it's weird because when I first pick up this pencil, that price makes sense to me. When I use the pencil, <laughs> that price does not make sense to me. Yes. You can get the TK Fine Executive on Amazon right now for $9. That's right in the sweet spot. And then the Rotarine Rapid, you can get one of them on Amazon for $1.99 or a box at 10 for 7 bucks. That is the deal of the century. I, just before we dive in, I think that's the deal breaker. Yeah. I mean, the fact that you can get that pencil, it's great Yes. for 2 bucks. Right. when you're comparing it to a $24 pencil. Yeah. I mean, it's just astonishing. You really have to like something on the other pencils to justify the cost. Almost right away, though, I want to take the Koinor and just throw it out the window. Yeah. Because I just can't figure out what would be redeeming that would make you pick that at that price point over the other three. No. So I'm going to just wash that one out right now. Of the two other ones, the Faber-Castell, TK Fine Executive, and the TK Fine Vario, what would be, I'm asking you, Stephen, what would be a redeeming quality that would make you say... I want that, and I'm willing to pay more because the Rapid does not have it. My guess, my gut reaction would be that the one has the metal grip on it. But just like you said, the minute I pick it up, the minute I start writing with it, all that goes out the window. The TK Fine Executive is a far superior pencil. Yes. I think that's worth $9. Yeah. I would pay $9 for that. Yes. But then again, once you've put this up against... A Rotrain Rapid that's two bucks. There are a few clunky features about the Rapid. Sure. The joint in the middle could potentially be weak. Yeah. So I would definitely buy the box of 10. Yep. The grip isn't my favorite, but as far as a $2 pencil goes, that's an excellent grip. Solid for two bucks. And it has a retractable nib. That's what the, the two best pencils, that and the TK Fine Executive, those are the only two with the re- retractable nib. And I think it puts them over the top. If there was any question, which there wasn't in the first place. No. And the Rapid has this double-click, single, like, there's a different pressure clicks that you can do to retract the sleeve or just advance the lead, depending on how much pressure you use, which is more complicated on the cheapest pencil. Right. The Executive doesn't have that. No. The TK Fine has some sort of weird hard and soft dial, which we couldn't really get to work from what I remember. Right. But other than that, it has just a basic advancement of the clicker to advance the lead. There's no retractable lead sleeve. The long lead sleeve just hangs out on the TK Fine Vario. The executive has the retractable lead sleeve, and it's a tapered lead sleeve. It's not a cylindrical lead sleeve. So 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I keep trying to find reasons to go with the executive. And the only thing that I can come up with is the story of the pencil in that it held a lot of emotional and material significance to an artist. So that would be the only reason that I would choose this over that. But that's not my reasoning. That's not my excuse. That's somebody else's story. So if I'm going to go straight up, I'm going with the box of rapids. It just, I, I don't know. I can't talk myself out of it. I can't talk myself into the other pencils. No. And that rapid was such a delight when we first reviewed it. Yeah. You thought you were getting one for seven bucks. Yeah. And I think that would still be a decent price for this. Absolutely. And we got 10. We and we got were just 10. so happy. And every using it, holding it, clicking it, everything was just, we can't believe how much great stuff went into this $2 pencil. Yeah. This pencil is a great introduction to mechanical pencils. It can evangelize everybody who's on the fence. It's a great pencil to use, whether you're, you've been using them for 10, 20, 30 years, or it's your first time. I can't get over how great this cheap pencil is. I think it's perfect for a teacher who has a small group of students and you're starting sketching and you want to give them a, a mechanical pencil to try sketching with. I think the Roaching Wrap would be perfect for that. What an adventure we've been on. It's so cool. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm glad we did this. Me too. Well, join us for our regular schedule next week after we take a nap. And thank you for being with us along this journey and for being with us in the long haul. We love our listeners. Thank you for listening. Shoot, to where's you. my passport? <laughs> thank you for listening to The Measured Pencil. Goodbye. Goodbye. This was The Measured Pencil with Wes Nelson and Stephen Murray. Theme song and additional music composed and performed by Josh Baumgartner. Additional production support by Two Desk Productions. If you want to see what the pencils look like, please follow us on Instagram at The Measured Pencil. If you'd like to share your pencil story, please record a short audio file, maybe one to two minutes, and email it to us at themeasuredpencil at gmail.com. Or, if you'd like us to review your favorite pencil, please email us with the name, and it might appear on a future episode. Thanks for listening. <laughs>